Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In our last tutorial, we built a Discord chatbot that uses discord.py with Python. And per popular request, today's tutorial is about building the same bot using JavaScript and discord.js. As a reminder, you need your Hugging Face API token, which you can grab from Profile, Add Profile, API Token. And you also need your Discord bot token by going to the Discord developer portal, application, your bot. Cool. Once you have these two tokens, we are ready to go to Repolit and build our bot. So create a node.js app. I already created mine, so I will just open it up right here. First things first, we fill in these two secret system environment variables, the Discord token and the Hugging Face API token. And then we add some packages so that we are able to use discord.js and make HTTP request to our Hugging Face model. So node fetch is a package that will allow you to make HTTP request really easily. Great, once we have these things set up, just go to my GitHub page. I updated a Discord bot.js file, which you can just copy paste into your repo it. And I'm going to walk you through the code line by line here. So this is where we are just importing discord.js. This is where we are importing node fetch for making HTTP requests. Here we initialize a discord client for the bot. And here's just my model serving URL, my GPT model. And cool. Here after line 10, we are starting the bot's code. So whenever the bot is ready, we log out some basic information. Whenever it receives a message on message, we use a asynchronized callback that does the following things. So if the message is sent from the bot itself, we ignore the message. Otherwise, we proceed to form the payload for the HTTP request to our model. The payload includes its inputs and the message's content as its text field. And then for the request header, we need to let Hugging Face know that we have our API key. So API bearer is the process environment secret Hugging Face token that we defined in this secret tab here. Great. And while our bot is making the request and waiting for the response from the server, we are going to set its status to typing. And then we query this server using a fetch with a post method, stringify our payload body and put in our headers. And we await for the JSON object of the response. And then here, we're going to check if there's a generated text field in our JSON object. This means that our request has succeeded and we now get the bot's response as the data's generated text field. Otherwise, if there is an error field, our request probably has failed and we just log that error field to whichever channel that message is sent. And we do message.reply bot response. And we also stop typing. Great. Oh, and last thing, we need to log in using our secret Discord token. Great. So why don't we give it a try? So click run. All right, looks like our bot has logged in. So going back to Discord, you see that our bot is online. Great. Hello, sunshine. Hello there. How are you doing today? 
What did you have for breakfast? Ooh. All right, cool. Looks like the bot is working. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, just stick around for more tutorials in the future. Thanks.